Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Empress and the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands and the Six of Cups. Energies for your person, the Word and the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Between you and your person, we have the Hierophant. Meeting energies, the Ace of Cups and the Moon, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, the Oracle cards, Observer and Poised. Guys, I do not feel that the poised energy can be about the connection between you and this person, and I will tell you why. The two of you already broke up. The Seven of Swords can describe a betrayal, and this person cannot accept the fact that you have already moved on from this connection. Because if you think about it, you can look at the situation like a five of swords, seven of swords, one. So the figure in green and red from your perspective can be your person. They can be the bearer of the three of swords. So a heartbreaker. You have already made the decision to leave the battlefield behind. It was a major source of confusion, the connection at some point, five of ones. There were good memories, six of cups, because you loved this person, ace of cups, but now that love has faded away. At the same time, you are winning the breakup because you can sit in your empress energy, even if you are a man, and instead, this person, who can be your ex, we can say that, is struggling big time to accept that the connection belongs to the past, world energy, but they do not want to look at that type of option. The lady in the Eight of Swords is blindfolded. So they want to talk, Ace of Swords, they still hope that it can be possible for the two of you to reconnect, I do not think that this is the case because this person may not be deserving of your trust anymore. But in the meeting of the energies, we got a couple of cards that can be super interesting and they can truly describe the mindset of this person. So they can be aware of the fact that you are single, nine of pentacles. Then I want to say two things. Some of you were committed to this person with plans for the future, Ten of Pentacles, Hierophant, and they can try to conveniently offer you a new Ace of Pentacles in order to manifest a reconciliation. I would be extra careful with that type of progression because there is something that is tremendously off because of the Moon together with the Ace of Cups. So. The intentions of this person can be questionable. The second thing that I want to say is that maybe marriage was an issue as a topic for this person along the connection with you. Then, let's say a betrayal or maybe even commitment issues worked as a catalyst for the two of you to part ways. Now, this person will try to use the marriage topic kind of out of arrogance because the man with the red hat in the Nine of Cups sometimes can become a show off for me. And they can use the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hierophant combination of energies as a bait in order for you, Nine of Pentacles person, to think that you can find a positive development empress in a reconciliation with them, because this time things can be way better. I am not sure about that. And you have to take a good look at the interaction when this person reaches out. You have to be smart, like the fox that we see in the Observer Oracle card. By the way, the fox is looking at the moon. So you have to read the intentions of this person because it is fair to say that their actions in the past burned you guys 
and they were actions driven by, allow me to say, negative intentions towards you. What should you focus on? The star. Wish granted energy, yes. You thought that the connection was a positive one. Then, all of a sudden, maybe, the situation changed its colors, and now you have to work with that. This person may not be a truthful individual, a loyal one, a person that can deserve your trust after what happened. Of course, they want to reconnect with you guys, and they can think they are smart enough to be successful in this endeavor. I would not hold my breath about the opportunity to reconcile. Not at all. Wheel of Fortune, unfinished business, we can say that. We can say that. For sure, from the perspective of your person, your ex. From your perspective, not so much. I would say. The connection should belong to the past. Nine of Swords. It can be a situation that can bring anxiety to you. And this should tell you something about the alchemy. Then this person can, in a manipulative way, try to cry over spilled milk in order to get to you almost out of pity. So careful with the Seven of Swords, but also the ego-driven Five of Swords because this person can be also stuck in their ways. So they haven't changed. They still want you, yes, but they are still the same. So even the agreement can be the same because it can be an act only to get back together with you. And so even the outcomes of the connection can still be the same. They were not positive for you, even if you are winning the breakup. So I would try my best to keep the interaction super quick and then let's keep moving forward. I would say, what's the obstacle? The obstacle is the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords, recurrent energy, Page of Swords and the Lovers. This is a crossroads. This is going to be a crossroads, let's say. This person is stuck in their ways, and this is an obstacle indeed. They can look at you, they can try to find out about your current status, if you are seeing someone new, if you are free. But because of the Nine of Pentacles, that can be the case, and that's why they can truly accelerate the process that can allow them to break silence. They want to talk, and they hope that you can be interested in hearing what they have to say, you will have to pay attention. But if we think about the lovers as a soul to soul connection with a higher purpose in favor of the two people involved in the situation, this connection can be full of BS. You have experienced it. You should remember it. And then you should make the best possible decision for you. But if this means that you have to shut your door in front of this person when they ask you to try again, so be it. Sorry, not sorry, guys. This is not a positive connection, unfortunately. Some of you had to learn some lessons the hard way, but those lessons now should count. So let's go for the guidance. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Here we go. High Priestess, much for the Hierophant. So this person can truly try to use commitment as a bait because if you were committed, maybe even married, they can say that it is possible for the two of you to turn back time in order to manifest a better outcome. Not sure. If you were hoping to get married, 
but there were commitment issues, this person can be aware in a manipulative and sneaky way that it was a goal for you and they can try to use it to work their way back in a connection with you. Magician energy and the Queen of Swords, I love the energy, guys, because the magician can be a call to action, but it can be about the two of you in different ways. When it comes to this person, they can be a manipulative and egotistical individual. So you have to be careful with that. So they can try to offer you explanations and reasons in order for you to say yes to a reconciliation. But you will have to honor the Queen of Swords in order to take action about this interaction and point out the reasons that can be super important for you in order to make clear why a reconciliation is not an option from your perspective. As we usually share in the readings, the truth of the Queen of Swords can be a powerful one, but it can also be one extremely different from what another person may desire to hear. And this one seems to be precisely that type of situation. This person can hope that you can say yes to a reconciliation. Instead, they can get a no for an answer. I think that a no can be the best possible answer that those of you that can resonate can offer to this individual if we think about a reconciliation. And then you can cut communication, high priestess. You can basically go back to your ice mode when it comes to the interaction with this person. and you will keep moving forward without them. And this can be absolutely for the better. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.